Okay, folks, we're going to take you on a little tour through Harmony, Pennsylvania, and Zillinople, Pennsylvania. But first, we're going to go into Harmony. Harmony is a very historic district. This was the headquarters of the Harmonites. For those of you who do not know who the Harmonites were, they were a group of people who immigrated from Germany because of their religious beliefs. They were persecuted, and they set out to have a way of life here. They were staunch abolitionists. They were very religious people. They did not believe in bragging or self-rights of their achievements. They were humble, quite dedicated to individual liberty, very passionate about worshiping and prayer, and they made their first home here. Then he moved to Indiana, somewhere in Indiana, and then their final place of residence was, of course, Old Economy in Ambridge. I'll make another video about that some other time, but this was their first stop. And they had quite an influence on the town here. They were very prosperous business people. They created a lot of jobs and built a lot of wonderful things that are still prevalent in this town. Thank you. I'm sorry. He said use a turn signal. He's right about that. And these are some cute little shops that they have here, as you can see. Quite striking. Since I lived here, this place has actually gone a little bit more prosperous than it was. Which is kind of nice. And I'm going to give you a little tour of the town. Doing this cute little bridge here over the Susquehanna Creek. Very nice. Pleasant day. Warm. Very mild breeze. Great day for filming. If I'm not mistaken, up here there's an intersection where there's a, uh, an ice cream stand. I don't think it's a Dairy Queen. I think it's a Brewster's, actually. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a Brewster's. Rich farmland out here, ladies and gentlemen, in southwestern Pennsylvania here. Actually, it's more north. Coming in northwestern Pennsylvania. Butler's north of Beaver. Well, it's not. I stand corrected, folks. This is something new here. It's called Katie's Diner. That is the new ice cream stand. When I resided out here, it was a Brewster's. Very well. We're going to go back on this road. We're going to backtrack because I'm going to show you the Harmony Inn, which is a, a very uh, famous restaurant that is purportedly haunted. Now, I have eaten there several times in my time living out here and I can tell you that I did have a very weird feeling about the place and I did see a photograph of a little girl that's a, supposedly an apparition of a ghost of a little girl who was standing on top of the stairs one year when they were doing renovations that is the new ice cream scent that was a Brewster's ladies and gentlemen when I was here there's the sign of harmony and um Yes, I had a very uneasy feeling. Originally, the restaurant was a hotel, and it was a hotel of service to several Union soldiers. I honestly don't have time to get into all the history of the Harmony Inn. You can Google it. I even think they have a website that's up and running, and you can review more information than what I'm able to tell you in this video, if that interests you. It should interest you. It's, a, it's an interesting place. It's beautiful inside. It's, it's quite old, ornate, old-fashioned. Very peaceful atmosphere, but I had the feeling I was being watched, even though there was really nobody there on the particular day that I had lunch on one afternoon while I lived out here. There may have been maybe two other people and they were sitting in the corners. I just had this feeling that somebody not in the room was watching me, if that makes any sense. But the food was very good. Quite a pleasant dining experience, to say the least. And if Again, if you're interested in that, just Google in Harmony in Harmony slash Zillian Opal, Pennsylvania. 
and you'll get all kind of wonderful information about the place. And here we are back going into downtown Harmony. And we're coming up on their church that they built out here, and their church is quite interesting. The Harmony Muse Music Studios. Well, how nice that is. I'm taking videos. Oh, what a pleasant town. I love the atmosphere here. Ladies and gents, here it is. Here's the Harmony. Here's the Harmony. It's a beautiful building. There's the sign. It's quite a place. And here's the church coming up in Harmony. This church that you're looking at, folks, was built by the Harmonites. And this is downtown Harmony, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're gonna go into Zillianople. I did forget to show you the Harmony Museum. We just passed it back there. It's a white building. A lot of interesting stuff in there. Again, that is something you can also Google, Harmony Museum. They have a history day out here, just like all the other counties do in Pennsylvania. And it's quite interesting, I can assure you. Definitely worth attending. Many celebrations take place out here. Sometime in the summer, I believe. Now we're coming into Zillianople. This is the town where I lived. I lived out here for two years, and I loved it. Fox's Pizza is still in operation. I'm very pleased to see that. Great place to eat. Got a lot of food from them when I lived out here. I'm going to take you, drive you through up and down the roads. But first, we're going to go through the main drag. Downtown Zillianople, past the Kaufman House, which is another famous restaurant. Uh, fine servers, a wonderful food there as well. Here's the old Calvin Presbyterian. Building. I apologize. I'm moving the camera all over the place. I'm trying to drive and talk and do a film at the same time. <laughs> it's not an easy task, but it is challengeable and enjoyable. Challenging, excuse me. My grammar is horrendous today. I'm going through withdrawal. I haven't written anything down. Fine Church of Zillianople. And now we're coming on the main track here. They're always auctioning a car there, that's for the fire department. Here you are. This is where horse trading days take place, for those of you who are familiar with it. There's the Strand, the world famous Strand Theater. Wonderful place, you need to see the inside of it if you guys are ever come here to visit. Lots of good places to eat here. The Kaufman House is straight ahead, you see the red there? In front of this car there, that red building on your right, that's the Kaufman House. And there's also something here called the Z Pub. Very good food. Nice atmosphere, pleasant, and highly recommended by me because the food is just great. Let's advertise some businesses for these wonderful folks that live here. Huh? What do you think? There it is. There's the Kaufman House right there. There it is. Red building. Great place inside, too. I see the uh, barbershop is still here. Okay. A couple of new stores. I used to walk this road every evening when I'd come back from work. I loved living out here. It was great. We got some kind of old enchanted evening. I have no idea what that is. Barbershop. Allstate, Mr. Jim Blue, he's still there, still in business, wonderful. The Murray Agency, they're still in business, I think. Yes, they are. Okay. We're going to turn down here and show you a couple of back streets. There's the headquarters of the Zillianople um, Historical Society, I think. Is that what that is? I'm almost positive, yeah, next to the post office there. And of course, if you go straight ahead, that will take you into Cranberry. I'm not going there today. I honestly had no plans of making this video today, but since I happen to be in the area, and I like Zillian Opal a lot because I used to live out here, 
well, I just thought it would be beneficial to make a video about the town where I used to live, where I'm highly considering moving back to, because I really like being out here. I called this place home for almost two years, and I loved it. All fond memories. Let's go down some of these streets. South High Street here. And I've noticed that they put new street signs up. They were not out here when I was here. They were not up and running, I can tell you that. Some not lovely homes out here, too. I don't want to capture anybody on film here, but some of these are really nice. This is another favorite street of mine that we're on right now. This is something, ladies and gentlemen, out of a Ray Bradbury short story, honestly. Let's take a ride down Pennsylvania Avenue here. That house there is just gorgeous on the corner. I always admired it when I lived out here. We're going to go down. Just driving through Zoe Noble. Beautiful place. Wonderful town. Actually, it's a Ray Bradbury town, too. The town itself. <laughs> The town itself. Okay, we're on one way here, so we're going to do that. We're going to go one way. Just go up this road and see where we... It's a very peaceful little cute town. If you guys ever get the chance, come visit. You won't be disappointed. Beautiful place to live. Raise children. Good school district. Low taxes just says everything you want. That's a nice house. We'll go down this way. Newcastle Street. One thing I miss, where I live now, there's no sidewalks. They actually have sidewalks here. I know that sounds strange. Well, I, I, I am dead serious. Where I live in Beaver County, there is no sidewalks. You have to walk on the road. You have to ride your bike on the road, and it's dangerous because people go 500 miles an hour on some of the roads that I live on, and uh, there's some of the roads near me, and it makes it unsafe for walking or riding a bicycle. I never thought I would miss sidewalks, folks, but trust me, I do. As strange and funny as that sounds. We're going to take another drive up this road here. High Street, South High Street. If I can, I'm going to try and end this video over where there's the library. Presby Center, I mean. Some wonderful homes on this road. If I'm not mistaken, this used to be their Zillian Opal School. It's now an apartment building. There's the library there. My mistake, folks. There it is right there. That's the Zillian Opal Library. Really cute inside. I like it. I spent a lot of time there when I lived out here. Now I think we'll just go down this way because we've already been up these roads. There's some here. Now we're back on the downtown stretch. We'll go to the other side over here.
nice quiet cute little town so I hope you enjoyed me driving you around Zelenopol click like subscribe there will be more videos like this and a lot more other different videos coming up I appreciate everybody's patience I know I said it before and I'm saying it again I assure you there are many different videos coming spread the word out and please don't hesitate to leave comments below visit my other websites my Facebook page my Twitter page my Pinterest page has lots of great photos you guys will love you really need to check it out and um, until then have a safe weekend and stay tuned for more videos bye